again. What's the story folks, Armour here, and welcome back to the Armoury HD, where in today's video, as you can see by this lovely box, I have Sony Wireless 2.0, or Gold, as they're known in the States, headset. Um, just a quick show of the box. The contents that you get inside are the Sony Wireless headset itself, obviously, um, a 3.5mm to 3.5mm cable, a wireless USB dongle, we'll say, um, a manual, a lovely suede bag type of thingy, so that you can, you know, store it away, and the Sony Wireless Gold headset itself. So, all I'm going to start, you know, with a bit of depth on this, and um, touch on what some people are looking for when it comes to this type of review, and the first thing I'll talk about is build quality in the external controls. So, you've got a very, very nice matte plastic, and the coating doesn't really wear on, you know, the way controllers would, where they... You can tell by discoloration, etc. Very, very nice matte plastic uh, externals there. Um, you can kind of feel a good bit of quality and it feels really nice. You know, if you get a, a brand spanking new plastic phone, that I feel why well, I've got these a couple of months now and the, you know, the material hasn't worn away at all. Um, on the inside, you've got some nice blue faux leather and black faux leather padding, uh, which is very, very comfortable. Um, it's very, very comfortable indeed. Um, what I can say about it is the Sony headset itself for all intents and purposes, it is comfortable. Um, the particular air cup style, I'm not sure if you can see it from here, but inside is about you know a quarter inch of depth and width from the back of your ear, it's the shape of your actual ear, and then the front side of it is very flat. Um, now what used to happen to me was on my right ear, all, all along the back and sides and front of it would rub up against the speakers, and I don't know whether it was the material itself that irritated my ear or what, but it never happened on the left side, only the right. But, well, you know, that's, you live and learn. Um, next, we've got the controls. So you've got your sound and chat, that's game and uh, and voice. So usually it's 10, 10 volume pips either side. So I know five volume pips either side, so it's 10 total. Um, I'll usually go two down from, so if we start at zero, let's say, and five up is going into game, chat, game sound, and five down is going into chat sound, I'll go two down from zero. Um, because the chat is usually a bit weaker than the game volume even with the EQs and all that which I'll touch on in a while um, it's it's a bit weak so I'll normally go into heavier chat than heavier sound even if someone ups the sensitivity on their end it's still kind of low next we've got the um, the sound rocker um, for the actual you know on and off button there so that's an EQ preset so it starts off and uh, off obviously and then you have number one which is just a standard on button you know that was the i suppose the headset itself to just have a, a you know bog standard eq unless you change it on the app and then preset two is um you know a customizable one that will apply to particular games that starts off on the the, the very same when you first buy it and um, you'll always know if it's searching because it'll flash blue and it'll go uh, solid blue led when it's connected and then when you need to charge it it'll be red etc so Moving past that, you have a 3.5mm jack hole, that's to use these as regular standard headphones or headphones with the controller itself, so you, you get the cable, it's supplied, it goes in there and in there, and obviously you've got that as a non-wireless cable then. Um, then you've got the USB charging cable, note to, note to buyers, you can charge these using the same cable from your PlayStation pad, not only that, you can wear them and charge them. I normally recommend getting the meter or two meter long cable if you're not. No, if you're not very far away from the TV, of course, if you do plan on wearing these while charging them, um, it doesn't get hot or uncomfortable or anything like that. Uh, then you've got the mute key. That's just at the back. Usually it's accessible by the thumb. So yeah. it might sound a bit confusing when you're when you're reading these, but I'll just put them on to show you. So we've got these on. You'll begin to begin to know your thumb will be right here and the force key you'll come across is the mute key. Following that, you've got your two main volume rockers. So that are those two there. Um, obviously that's again 10 pips um, 0 would be the very bottom and then up to 10 volume I'll normally stay at around 6 or 7 and I'll have 2 plus into the chat um, and then lastly you've got your virtual surround sound this is on by default the minute you flick that switch to 1 or 2 um, to turn it off you just click off I would only turn it off if I was using the PS3 with some old PS1 games because it doesn't really create the sound either side of you and if you're using virtual surround sound you know, with an EQ preset, we'll say, and you're playing Worms, Resident Evil 1, 
Gran Turismo or anything like that. And um, sometimes sounds can be in front of you, they can echo a little bit. It uh, could have just been me, maybe I'm hearing things, but it, could, it echoes just slightly. So I'll turn it off and then it'll be just like I'm using regular headphones plugged into TV, only the very good quality. Speaking of quality now, we'll touch on it. You can't wear these backwards. So, you know, as I said, the indentations are there for your ears, so they will match your particular ears. I did have that issue that I was saying with this kind of irritating all under here, whether I'm wearing a hat or not, you know, that's kind of that. That's not a boy or we wear, that's just me. I don't know what happened there. Faux leather's never bothered my ears before. I've never been irritated, but it just got really warm in that one. So anyway, they're very, very comfortable to wear with glasses. I don't have mine to hand, but they do fit in there in under your ears and you can snug them in at the back. As I said, there's enough room for them on purpose. They do have a lot of padding. They're very, very comfortable. They won't get heavy, you know, once you adjust the cups, which I'll show you now, you adjust the cups by grabbing the actual cup itself and it moves up and down on the uh, on the frame. So, you know, no matter what head size you have, once you bring them all the way to the top and you put them on, you can bring them all the way in nice and tight and the plates also come off, which can happen if you do an adjustment like I just did like on camera, but that just shows you that you can take it off and void your warranty by taking apart the headset and having a look at the guts and internals. I'm not going to do that because, well, that's not for me at all. So it just clicks back on just like that. So no issues at all. Um, speaking of the quality of them, it, they're very, very good. For 100 euros, you cannot go wrong. Um, these, I give their sound quality a 6 or 7 out of 10 minimum. Um, the reason that they wouldn't get a 10 out of 10 is because the presets are inside the companion app. Um, the companion app that you download from the PS Store does have some really good kind of presets you can muck around with the eq i'm not very good at that but the games that they have installed there are very very good you have last of us infamous and destiny if you're playing destiny with these on and you have that preset already pre-installed here on on this it does sound amazing you know you can hear every little detail the way you're supposed to you know it sounds like the sounds are coming at you you know all you need is 3d glasses and you're flying but the reason that I wouldn't rate these, let's say, higher in terms of the quality of them is just because of that issue I was having. Um, although they're not heavy and they wouldn't fall off your head if you have them adjusted properly, you know, they're not going to go anywhere. You can, you, They're not heavy at all, so you can wear these for a couple of hours at a time. You won't be feeling fatigued, you won't get a creak in your neck or anything like that. Um, and obviously they are wireless. The reasons that I give them, a, let's say, a 7 out of 10 would be the battery on them, as far as wireless headsets that I've previously used, has gone. It, it's a little bit weak. Three or four hours is grand, but you know, if you were playing for longer than that, you have to be tethered to it, you have to take it off, you have to swap around. Not only that, but if you use it and then let's say don't charge it, you know, you wouldn't leave it charging all night or overnight. Um, the next time you go to use them, it, it, their offline time is, is, is quite low, I found. I, I'll put them into the bag, I haven't charged these since the last time I did fully charge them for storage. If I were to turn them on right now, they might last an hour. I just don't think that's, you know, kind of as good as it should be. But, you know, let's not speak about the cons too much right now. Um, the pros obviously are the sound quality, 400 euros is fantastic. They are much better than any Turtle Beach model that I've used up until the 200 euro mark. Um, and that's saying something, Turtle Beach were a very trusted brand, especially for Xbox and PlayStation games. Um, compared to, let's say, some of the Sennheiser, you know, beefier models that you'll get for over that price limit. Look, don't compare these to a pair of Astros. They're not 200, 300 valued headset. They're 100 euros. They're wireless. They're very good for what they are. Um, things that I can say I do like about them, as I said, quality is fine. Um, you can sound horror on games like Call of Duty and Last of Us. I can hear footsteps of someone who's trying to sneak in a game like Last of Us. Very, very good. Um, you know, I play very close to my TV anyway, but you know, these these matched the sound quality of a previous TV that I used that had the best sound quality on any television that I'd ever used. So, you know, to give that a bit of an accolade for you. Um, the companion app, as I said, you can preset the EQ yourself or you can use the games that you're planning on playing. That's a pro and a con in itself because having to launch the companion app will close out of your other games. Um, I'm not sure if they've updated it since, but that's how it is right now. So when you are playing a game and let's say you want to swap out to play FIFA, there's no preset for FIFA, so you want to adjust it so that the commentators aren't screaming in your ears. You know, you can adjust it if you know what you're doing, but me personally, as I said, it's just a bit confusing for, for me. Now, you know, hey, that's, that's, that's just what it is. Um, compared to the likes of other 100 euro headsets like Turtle Beach, you do get, you know, a lot of bang for your buck. It's a wireless uh, dongle. And um, this is a bit of an issue with a lot of people who want to record. So, you know, I'll touch on this very quickly. If you have an, an external uh, capture device and you're not using the PS4's own capture, 
um, then you will not get sound through your capture device. And this is because the way the PS4 outputs sound is it will output it either via optical or HDMI. If you have it outputting via optical, optical it would strip it both from the optical sound cable and the HDMI. But the difference is it always stops HDMI when you plug in a USB headset and you and use that unless it's an optical side one. Because the USB is the wireless receiver for the headset, it strips out the audio, meaning if your friends are over and you want to wear one of these, even if it's one ear just like this, you're just you're kinda they're just comfy, you get used to them, etc. No one else will be able to hear the, the TV then. That can be considered a good thing for those who want to silence the TV the minute they plug these in, that's fine. If you're looking to record though these, you would not be able to record sound with them. Um, voiceovers are fine, you know, there wouldn't be any issues with that, but there is no current possible way of stripping the sound from these into a computer, Elgato, HD, PVR, etc. Because the PS4 only does offer optical uh, sound and HDMI. Now, if you have a, you know, in the future, if they have a capture card that takes an optical cable, that's fine. That's another alternative. Um, you know, it, it, it does render this piece of information useless, but until then, that is the, uh, that is the alternative. So, moving past that, um, the only other cons that I could, I, I suppose I could feel to point out to anyone, to, and the reason that these don't get a higher 8, 9, or 10 out of 10 on in terms of quality, they don't get every single sound, and they are missing a lot of bass. So, for those who are playing a game, let's say, like very bass you know resonant game uh battlefield uh, battlefield will play and and sound absolutely fantastic in these however it will be missing that kind of crunchy war sounding bass we'll say the kind of you know grenades and gunfire going off it's very light it's very pingy in your ear and um, now obviously volume can fix that but it, it's low on bass no amount of eq adjusting can really fix that it is just the you know obviously the speaker quality or what have you it does you know not allow for that it it does give off a nice feeling of not having a vibrating type of feeling from some headsets like the turtle beach where the bass is very thick and heavy but if you're looking for bass you probably wouldn't be wanting to get these but as i said um for 100 euros you really cannot go wrong or you know like as far as sony getting it getting it done right they really did for a headset that is in the mid to high-end gaming headsets and um, it will work with a pc so you know i've got my laptop here if i plug in the wireless headset these will work with it Um, it, it'll pre-install the software for you and um, you cannot use a companion app with it unless you use the companion app with the playstation headset download the preset for a, a game that's cross compatible or a similar game style that's another one to touch on actually if you're playing a racing game and you don't see the Gran Turismo head, you know, preset, you can use the other alternative. So match your companion headsets games. Infamous is open world. Last of Us is, you know, um, quiet and voice orientated. So it's very, you know, fixed on the, on the vocals. Um, Destiny would be very music and shooter. You know, it's called shooter, but, you know, that'd be what I'd, I'd kind of put it towards. Um, anyway, enough of the rambling. Um, very good headset. Well worth the money. You cannot record sound with these inside, a, a, you know, an external capture device. The quality of the materials is very good. It did irritate my ears. Um, virtual surround sound is fantastic. You know, it, it, it beats any Xbox 360 or PS3 headset that I had previously used, including the higher end 200 euro, $200 type of headsets as well. Does it touch the likes of the Astros? Almost. With the correct preset and everything set up the way you want it, it can get close is it worth the extra 150 to pay for it if that's what you're looking for then yes build material wise they're fine if this was a present or if this was you know to be for all intents and purposes worn for quite a long time if, if someone was looking for something that's going to not break like a turtle beach that's going to have decent sound like an astro that's going to have really nice kind of good quality build and um, like a skull candy or sennheiser then i'd fully recommend them they are quite good for their money but anyway, um, that's just a short and quick review. Well, I hope it'd be a short and quick review, but I rambled um, on the Sony Golds. Um, soon enough, because I did only wear these, I have them a couple of months, but I did only wear these for the guts of about a month um, to test them and to obviously review them for you folks. Um, you know, These will soon enough be given away. So I'm going to host a channel giveaway soon for these. And it'll just be a simple, you know, like, share, subscribe type of, type of dealy between the social media platforms. If you want to begin getting in on that early, 
by all means i will be checking individual profiles to see where i've gotten kind of the statistics from so if i see someone shared my facebook page they've got me 200 likes if i see you know somebody has gone out of their way to subscribe on a couple of different channels and then get in more subscribers and they put on the comment box here's all the people that have gotten you you know i, I will notice all that now so but you know, keep your ear to the ground for the armory because this is going to be something that is of a free giveaway and as you can tell by the quality of them they weren't really used very much um, in terms of use and, use and abuse. Um, so you know, I'll put these back in the bag. Um, they would come with all the pieces that you know they came with. So the box, the 3.5mm jack, the USB dongle, the guide, etc. Um, very good product for its money. Um, very, very nice. If you're just looking for a headset for some casual gaming, chatting to your friends and doing all of that, I fully well recommend it. Um, as I said, the cons are you can't record sound with it if you're using an external capture device um, until the foreseeable future. Hopefully, if Sony, you know, get on that and fix it. Otherwise, you know, I have no other complaints. You know, you don't say it's 100 euros compared to a 300 euro headset and give it a 2 out of 10. But you don't say it's the best thing since sliced bread when there is better things out there, but they do cost extra money. Um, for bang for its book, you know, being a mid to high end headset in terms of its own quality. But not costing the price of a of a school candy Sennheiser, you know Astros, um, etc. Then you know what there is no complaints from it whatsoever. Um, pros and cons, as I said, are the mix app or <laughs> are the companion app, um, and in fact that the EQs you'd have to really adjust for the game you're playing every time that you're gonna switch switch games. You don't have to, but you know if you want the maximum kind of um, function from the headset, then you're really gonna have to. But anyway guys, um, that was my quick review on the Sony uh, Wireless Gold or 2.0 headset. As I said, it is going to be in the channel giveaway. Um, but let me know what you think of that. and Let me know if you like the review, if you want to, share it or subscribe or like it. Um, it does show a bit of support. Otherwise, provide some feedback and please ask any questions that you do feel free to. Um, I'm here all year. So anyways, as always, any feedback is appreciated. My name is Armour and I'm out. Have a good one folks. Love you and the, love you and the